What is happening, people? And welcome back to Man Like Moses One. All right, we back. We back today. We're gonna be reacting to Shane Gillis Special Olympics. But before we get into the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you do not miss any new content. My roommate, his girlfriend, played college volleyball. So I'm very excited to like shit on volleyball whenever I can. <laughs> so I get in there and I was like, yo, volleyball is fucking, that's a weird culture. Get them fucking shorts, get them gym Fair. shorts. The shorts they're wearing is gross. And she was like, no, we need those shorts for speed, speed. <laughs> on the court. And I was like, uh, I, I know that's not true. I watched the NBA. <laughs> None of you are moving as fast as like a ref. <laughs> and those guys are wearing like slacks. Dress shoes for some reason. Male. She was like, no, we need those shorts. The tight shorts, they're essential. She compared them to like a helmet in football. I was like, I know they're not essential because I Googled the, uh, the Special Olympics volleyball team. This is different. All, the, all of a sudden, those Very shorts weren't so Olympics. essential for them. <laughs> What's that about? How baggy do you think they're? They look like the fucking N1 mixtape out there. Uh -huh. <laughs> they look offensively Olympic. baggy what, what? is how Does I would describe mean? all of their attires. <laughs> Bro, adults, we, we can. This, we all agree the Special Olympics is a good. It's a good program. I just. What does he mean, Special Olympics? Is he? Is he talking about? A literal Special Olympics or um, a para, um, you know, an Olympics for folks with um, Down syndrome. I may be wrong with this. Uh, Special Olympics. It's great. I just feel like the guy who came up with it had to be like a real risk taker. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's a wild thing to suggest for the first time. Some guy in a board meeting like, I got an idea. <laughs> We should be racing these motherfuckers. Uh, <laughs> like, what'd you say? Like, fucking, uh, town over said they had the fastest ones. <laughs> so we settle it, you know? <laughs> I'm not making fun of the Olympians. The concept is wild. It's a wild, like if your best friend invented the Special Olympics and told you about it first, you'd be like, don't ever tell anybody that. <laughs> Who the fuck were you gonna tell that to? What are you doing? Pole vault? <laughs> yeah, I, think I actually, so. personally, I actually volunteered and coached people. with the Special Olympics for a little while, so, you know, what'd you guys do? Folks with both. No, don't clap. Please. I did it for those kids. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah. I don't get it. I think that Special Olympics is for kids with Down syndrome or something like that. I look like this, so... Me coaching the Special Olympics, I was like a fucking double agent. No one knew whose side I was on, dude. Player, chaperone, no one knew. I'd be standing there coaching, holding a clipboard with five dudes that looked exactly like me. I could always see the coaches from the other team looking over like... I think they got, I think they're fucking letting one of them coach. <laughs> yeah. No, I did coach the Special Olympics for a little while, and it's fun. That's another thing you're allowed to talk about. It's happy. Everyone there is sportsmanship. It's, it is funny. Don't let anyone tell you it's not funny, dude. I was there. It, it, everyone there is laughing. It's fun. I coach basketball. Kids would catch the ball, just fucking... <laughs> just fucking launch it into the bleachers. People would be like, what the uh, fuck are you doing out there? They're like, I don't know. <laughs> fucking... uh, my whole team ruled. Every, every dude on my team was, the, they were the funniest. They fucking, they were bros. They were bros, dude. My whole team loved Olympics. two things. They Ooh. loved tits. <laughs> they do. I don't know if you know these guys, dude. They fucking love the ladies. They love the ladies. And they love John Cena. That's it. That was the news every day. We'd be in the huddle. They'd be like, there's a lot of ladies here tonight. I was like, ooh, yeah. They'd be like, what do you think John Cena's up to? 
Oh, you're gonna have to get way worse before you meet him. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> That's why seems, yeah, seems like the angel of death for those guys. <laughs> I, told, I told my guys, I was like, you see Cena coming, you get the fuck out of there. <laughs> <laughs> He's taking souls with him. Taking souls. <laughs> That's wild. That is wild. Every year, Hooters would sponsor our one basketball tournament. Hooters. All right. So every year, Hooters well, would that, bring like three or four wait um, restaurant that um, they in which they got their ladies, you know, in sort of bikinis and like serving um, food and stuff. Do you know, we need we need to do that in the UK, man. We need to do that in the UK. Hooters. We definitely need to. Imagine how much audience that would gather. That gives me a great business idea. No, I'm joking. Uh, and they would present like a big cardboard check donation to the Special Olympics. As soon as the girls entered the gym, yeah, I suspect the game changed <laughs> entirely, dude. It went from like hugs and sportsmanship to just like dudes got competitive, like very competitive. Because of, of the women. Fucking ripping down rebounds. Yeah. Just hitting layups. And, <laughs> 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 and then at the end of the game, there'd be a hug line. You know, between the waitresses and the players. And yeah, that went about exactly, exactly how you would imagine that went. We had to break out the fucking jaws of life, dude. My boys, my boys are ragdolling those young sluts. <laughs> and I'm not knocking the, the, the players. They were totally in the right. The girls were hot. The waitresses... Like every year, I would sneak into the hug line myself. <laughs> All right, I think I'm gonna get out of here, guys. Thank you guys very much. This was a lot of fun. Thank you. I mean, I was trying to think what he was talking about in the beginning. Special Olympics. He was talking about folks with Down syndrome. Uh, oh, oh, am I wrong? I don't think I am. Um, but yeah, he's always funny, man. I always love a bit of a. A bit of Shane Gillis, man. Um, did it really host that Special Olympics? What did you lots think? Did you enjoy the video? Do you like it? Do you have any more Shane Gillis recommendations of videos in which I should do? Put it down below. You know, like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I'll see you next time. Go, go. Yeah. Amen, amen. Hey.